your site, it's a Facebook page, uh, social plugin, and there you go. You have your feed from your Facebook page coming in. You can do the same thing, just like I did, and search <laughs> on install plugins, install one, and uh, you have your Facebook up and ready to go on your page. So, the next one I'm going to go into is SEO, the all-in-one SEO pack. Uh, this is this is a goodie. Um, I've been using this actually on uh, my blog back in 2008. I used this, and it's a widget on there. And basically, if you don't know what SEO is, it stands for Search Engine Optimization. And this is giving you the power to pretty much optimize your site, meaning making your site more visible in Google. Because you can buy your domain. You could set up your website, but do you have traffic? Probably not. You're competing with, you know, so many other websites out there. But this is basically your plugin that'll help you put in your tags, like I was talking about, put in your title tag, put in your meta description, put in a couple other things that you can tweak on your site to make it more visible, as far as keywords, as far as search, and uh, so, some goodies as well. So that's a good one to, uh, you know, it says right here, you can optimize your WordPress blog or your website for search engines. You're making your website more visible on the search engines. Uh, this is basically anti-spam. So a keysnet is uh, basically checking your comments and it's doing the work for you so that you don't get spammed. Because, like, you know, your site can be susceptible to spam. If you get a comment from Joe in China and you're like, oh, wow, that's so nice of him he could have been pretty much feeding spam to your website. So you're basically monitoring the comments that come in. And uh, comes in right here. You now look, as you see here, 215 spam. Like it blocked all those spammers from getting on the website. So it's very, um, very good at preventing, you know, the attackers to get onto your site. So that's that one. And all of these are on the, uh, the sheet as well that you can take home. Google Analytics. If you're not using Google Analytics or you haven't installed it on your site, shame on you. It's free. It's my favorite analytics tool as far as tracking your website. There are other ones that are paid. But if you're on a budget, Google Analytics is, uh, is pretty much your go-to analytics tool. And there's a lot of uh, products that Google provides for webmasters called Webmaster Tools that, um, that helps you out in your site and helps you make sure that your site is uh, approximately optimized. Anyone on Pinterest? So Pinterest, if you don't know what it is, um, it's pretty much like 80% female, but um, <laughs> All right, 95 to 5%. 99.9%. But I read on National, it actually is 80%, so I thought that was interesting. It's hey, most, I'm the one dude on there. It's, it's most <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> I don't want another oh, social media. Right, <laughs> yeah, Pinterest, if you don't know what it is, is a, it's an online pin board, right? This is your dashboard. You're basically pinning different pictures um, and sharing it. Amazing for SEO. I've seen great things done with it. I've actually seen Target ha break up, you know, the weekly ad you get in the mail? They basically took their weekly ad, put it on a digital format, crops, let's say an Xbox 360, and uh, pinned that Xbox 360. And they said, you know, from 3-5-2012 to 3-12-2012, it's 350, I don't know what the price is, but bear with me. Yeah, and uh, so this girl that I follow, who's a couponer, pinned that. And I was like, that's genius. Links back to Target.com, links back to the specific Xbox product. So you can literally be like, I want to buy that. You click on the Xbox link, and you buy it. Like, you know, that's just a genius way on how you can use Pinterest and how you can better it for your company. If you have a fashion website, you can pin a dress and you can link to that dress page on your website. You know, it's pretty much endless on what you can do as far as uh, optimizing. See, it's obviously, there's shoes yeah. right there. It's a woman's website, but um, you got a question? Scroll back up is that a legitimate link back? Does Google accept that as a link back? Yeah, because they are now. Yeah, they are now. Is, yeah, is, uh, authority site. When they first started, it was. I'm already a PR for there. Yeah, when it, when they first started, it wasn't. But now Google's acknowledging the fact that Pinterest is a social media that's big enough. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, to give you an example, Pinterest grew uh, 
three times as fast than Google Plus did, and yeah. Google is owned, you know, they own Google Plus, which is their social network. Like yeah. in three months, it pretty much tripled in traffic faster than Google's own platform did. Yeah. So it's, it's actually one of the fastest, faster growing than Twitter, faster growing than Facebook in a three month span since they launched. So this thing is just blowing up. Um, if you have Pinterest, I'm definitely interested in doing this for my site. Um, you basically, it's a, it's a gallery and it's a light box where you can, you know, see your image. This is a screenshot, so you can't see the light box, but this is an image and uh, this is your little pin it button. That's what you want. You want people to be able to go on images on your site. Be like, as a photographer, wow, I really like that. Pin it. And they share it to their social network. So that's, and, and you know, it could be endless. You could have a dress on there that you're selling, which, it, you know, whatever you're doing, it's very useful. You want to be able to share your content. Um, again, this is a woman's site, pretty Pinterest a better, pins. A better, a better thing to do to just limit yourself to just one thing is to get a, a plugin called Add to Any. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you could basically create your own little custom little bar at the bottom of your posts and drag Pinterest, Dig, StumblePon, I'm whatever getting, us, Yeah, whatever, I'm getting to that. Whatever you're doing. <laughs> Is that on the list? <laughs> That's on the list. Um, my latest pins, all right? Again, this is the little gallery of your pins. Follow me on Pinterest. The other one doesn't have that. So this is like, you know, your little um, extra thing. I like Pinterest, so that's why I'm showing your options here. Um, these aren't owned by Pinterest, so these are developers that made it, you know, for your use. So this is a little gallery. You can click on more pins. You can click on search within their pins. And you can see it's endless. This is the kit and caboodle. I love Jeff Hack. I think it's amazing. It has a lot of good value and a lot of, it's basically... Who uses Jeff Hack, actually? Jeff Hack. It's basically like a pack of pretty much widgets within their uh, within their plugin. So you can uh, add it to your website um, on wordpress.org. Again, you can't download this and add it to it. Um, Actually, Jetpack is on the, automatically when you sign up for a free account with wordpress.org or .com, you have Jetpack incorporated into the mix of things without having to install a plugin or whatnot. You can incorporate all the features of uh, I should say most of the features with Jetpack, and then some of them you have to buy as an add-on or whatnot. Yeah, so you can see the Gravatar that I had on my blog is on there. You can have subscriptions. Uh, you can have you know extended stats, some sharing tools where you can share content on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, etc. This is um, my favorite. You can spelling and grammar. Yeah, <laughs> spelling and grammar. If you're not a good speller, uh, Vault Press. You. That's like protecting your website, and that's basically having security on your website and schedule backups to, uh, to make sure you're backing up your site. Um, and then a couple other uh, really neat things. Um, add this. This is the thing where, in social media, you want to share your content. So this, this add this is, uh, I'll show you a better example, but um, it's basically, how your options look. It's the little icon. Um, you can do it a couple ways. You can have your icons as basic and write a you know right underneath your posts. You might want to zoom in. Yeah, I'm gonna show on my website. So this is one of them, um, and I customized it. You can have a whole bunch of different share buttons. I kind of made it uh, a little bit accessible. Yeah, that Facebook comment thing, if you could talk to me later about that, I just gave up on it about a year ago. I was like, I, it's complicated. But um, again, you could, you could add in, yeah, that too. Uh, you can add in your share button, you see, so you can share it right there on Facebook, you can tweet it, um, you can customize how you're letting people share your site. And you want to make sure that your site is shareable. So that's add this, and there's different ones. There's there's little widgets that, you know, you click on add this and it drops down to a little box and you can find pretty much any social network and share your site. 
Um, or type in your own. Or type in your own, yeah. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples of, uh, these are some featured WordPress sites, right? Um, so this is like a techie site, um, but you know, as you can see, WordPress isn't just a blog. It's not just, you know, something simple that you can kind of create your site and get it going. Like, this is a legitimate website, and uh, it kind of shows you the different capabilities that you can do. Um, there are plugins, obviously the little Facebook thing. If you want to have ads on your site, you can, there's different ad network plugins that you put in on your site. And it basically creates this little, you see GE, creates a little box that you can put ads in. So as you can see, you know, WordPress is endless. You can pretty much uh, customize your site. It's from uh, this company, Sprouter, and they you know, are, are the people behind Mashable, New York Times, Read, Write, Web, um, Financial Post. They're behind you know, some, some big news sites. You probably wouldn't believe it, but Adobe Blogs, this is, this is WordPress. So Adobe uses WordPress as their, uh, their platform to do their blog. This is a little, another uh, add this feature that you can use. That's your little share box. You can see you could share pretty much anywhere. Um, and then you can see Adobe Blogs, they customize this, saying there's 30,948 blog posts across 40, 432 blogs. There's almost 100,000 comments. Here are your comments. That's the thing you can do on your site. If you really want to make your site social, you know, show that other people are commenting on your site, make it a community. Um, and, and that's a way to do it. There's BuddyPress too that we can do in, in a future one. And as you can see on the bottom, you know, it's pretty much standard with WordPress. Those are, uh, are your links as well. Uh, last 